Flat B, and this is the kitchen for flat B. If you go in through the room there, that's the kitchen for flat A. You know the flat we've just been into? So this door will be sealed off, and uh, you have a look in flat A, uh, kitchen A, round the back, there's, we're going to put an entrance in from flat A uh, to the flat A kitchen. That'll be locked off. Uh, it currently is flat B, is this door, but we've got to put an entrance down there because you can't have an entrance uh, or exit through a kitchen uh, in an HMO. So I, I'm going to have to make a separate exit for flat B. So we're in flat B. Flat B's got three rooms and they're all let. They let straight away for some particular reason. I'm not quite sure. Uh, and here's, <coughs> yes, one of the uh, occupiers. So, uh, this was all left behind uh, by the previous occupiers. You always got the impression, not the peanuts, I don't know where they've appeared from, uh, be put on the table. Uh, August 23. Mm. Maybe they were left out the previous occupiers on the table. Uh, but you got the impression when I bought this that they'd got up after breakfast and walked out. Uh, you, even though it had been empty for two years, uh, you got that impression that everything just as they left it. Did you say this is kitchen A? Or this is kitchen B. Kitchen B, right. Yeah. Okay. We've got kitchen B. Kitchen A is here. So what's going to happen is this door that uh, Nick has come through is going to be sealed off. An entrance has been knocked through from flat A into here, and this will be the kitchen for flat A in phase one. The first phase is just get the place up and going. I've got to give people, if they're living, they've got to have a kitchen, they've got to have a bathroom. Most of the rooms, as we saw in flat A, are all, uh, got their own toilets. But there's a communal bathroom. I didn't take you down there because uh, the uh, electrician's got all his kit on the floor. Um, so I don't want to trip it over there. But there's a communal bathroom. So to be able to get this place working, I've got to get communal kitchens, communal bathrooms into the units. This is fairly simple. They've got communal bathrooms and they've got communal kitchens. Upstairs, I'm going to put in some communal kitchens to be able to let the property. In the meantime, it hasn't stopped me letting it. I've said just come downstairs and use this. Again, this is as it was left, cookers and everything else. So I was very lucky uh, having uh, a lot of stuff left behind where they'd uh, taken it. The, uh, first, the agent who was selling said, do you want us to remove all this stuff? I said, no. Please keep it, it's quite relieved. Um, it saved me a fair bit of money. Was well, this HMO before? Yeah, it was a 30, licensed 32 bed HMO previously. Uh, Let to a social landlord. Um, um. And they lost the contract and they just gave up and they left it empty for two years. And this, when I saw it, I thought they've got to be open to negotiation on this. They wanted 1.2 million. After about three months of negotiation, they came down to 1.1 million, um, and that was it. They, they, wouldn't, they weren't entertaining uh, the whole idea of, I'll give you a quid and I'll buy it in a year's time and all the rest of it. They said, no, we want the cash. Uh, they must, the business rates, well, not too hard, because it's only uh, D-rated for council tax. So it's council tax, sorry, so they're only paying about two grand. But they've got the insurance liability, you've got the risk. They've been broken into on occasions, so it made it difficult. Because no, yeah. where we are, they will never allow this as a kitchen. Where? Why is two, that? You can't have two cookers next to each other. Can't you? Right. Um, because you might be going to the sink and he's not yeah. going to the sink. And yeah. They've made us go through hoops. Yeah. Is there something further in there that you can't have an exit off a kitchen? Correct. Is that as... Because we... A, a kitchen is considered a high risk. Of course. And yeah. you can't... Unless you've got a secondary exit, you can't exit through the, the main, So the main fire exit, I'm learning now, yeah. the main fire exit of a flat unit house, whatever it is, it can't be through a kitchen. 
Well, you can. Um, as a secondary one. Uh, you, as long as you've got a back door. So you can exit through the kitchen. Yeah. The front door can be through the kitchen, but you've got to have a back or an escape window. Whether um, it let you have an escape window, I'm not sure. So um, you've answered you answer that. That's, yeah, yeah. Okay. It makes sense now. Actually. Yeah. It's, uh, this is concerned about the fires and HMOs. Yeah, they do. You know the main cause of fires and HMOs? Chip pans. And I said, well, why don't you ban chip pans in HMOs? Oh, no, 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 that means a tenant can't have a chip pan. Well, they can have electrically operated, and that's why I do. I say it in my tenancy agreement, no chip pans. We will provide, free of charge, an electrical chip pan for you, say by eliminating. Because what they do is come back drunk, they stick the pot on with their oil on, switch it on, go, and something distracts them on the TV, or they fall asleep, and bang, up goes the pot, and the kitchen's... Um, uh, if you ever watch your chip pan go off, it's horrendous. And the idiots on top of that tell you to fit a fire blanket, because if a chip pan catches fire, this hero will run across and put a, a fire blanket on it. <sighs> if you just watch a chip pan, how it goes. You don't want the fire blanket kitchen. Uh, uh, do not come into my vocabulary. You're a mile up the road. Because they, they, uh, it literally goes off like a, a, a massive explosion. Or oh, someone chucks water on a, a red hot chip pan. This whole room will be got engulfed in flames. And uh, if you survive it, you're going to go around skinless. The rest of your life. So this will stay as a kitchen? No, this is being as a kitchen in phase one. In phase two, it will be used as a room and have its own a entrance yeah. as uh, become a self contained unit. It's a nice size, actually. Yeah, it'll be a nice size one. It's, it's big. The other one I'm going to split into two, uh, make two rooms out of it. Uh, but this one will be only one room uh, with its own entrance. So it gets around your problem with your because, ugly uh, girlfriend situation. Yeah. Yep. Sprinkler system? I will, yeah, I'll probably fit the sprinkler system. I'm very much into sprinkler systems. Um, that's a whole different story. But yeah, I mean, you can fit them fairly easily. No one's ever died in a fire. And though I'm a bit blasé about the rules, whenever I've had problems with the council and all the rest of it, what they like to do is head it up with a fire officer, because the fire officer has enormous powers. Housing officers' powers are fairly limited <coughs> compared to the fire officer. And you watch the fire officer come in uh, with his size 12 boots, I'm going to shut you down, opens the door and walks in and goes, a fire alarm panel, fire sprinklers. My job's done. What I can't do about this? The housing officer said, yeah, but he hasn't got this little uh, half an inch short on the work surface and not enough fridges to, uh, for tenants who don't even use the bloody fridges and all that kind of thing. It's, it's terrible, terrible housing and all the rest of it. And the fire officer says, it's safe, I can't touch it. So it was a sort of almost watching that happen on a number of occasions where the fire officer goes, you've got fire sprinklers, so I said. You can uh, put it this way, the, the crime that starts with is with fire safety. That's where they hang everything else on. So as a HMO landlord, make sure you are fire safe, which means you've got a fire alarm that operates, you've got fire doors, your entrances are, ex exits and entrances are clear. So um, like the, uh, the electrician there working on the exit, a uh, housing officer will have a hissing fit. You know, you're blocking the exit there uh, with these tools and stuff in the hallway. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't, so you just make sure that you emphasise on it. You don't do as a, as a chap managing a property. And he was going on about how wonderful it's going to become. He's putting nice thick piled carpets in, lovely mattresses and lovely soft sheets and all that kind of stuff. And he's saying, this is what tenants want. And uh, while he, half an hour before the council came to inspect, the electrician drilled through the cable for the fire alarm, so the fire alarm was in fault. And when the officers turned up, they went, what's wrong with the fire alarm? He said, oh, forget that. Come look at my lovely carpet and we'll feel the lovely mattresses. And they were having a freak. Uh, and he didn't got shut down. Because he just didn't. If he had gone, uh, just done the, the, the common sense of saying, yes, unfortunately, electricians just drilled through the cable and got on his phone. You don't have to actually dial anything. You just go, blah, 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 blah. Right, yeah, yeah. Get your fucking ass over here. I've got a fire alarm not working. Now, I want it now. Here. 30 minutes. No, make it 20 minutes. Right, yeah. thanks. Can we carry on? The, the, uh, the, uh, 
whatever it is, the fire, uh, fire alarm engineer is on his way. It would have saved so much hassle. But he did. He just said, fuck the fire alarm. There's no risk in an HMO. And it's not a risk. He's absolutely right. No risk at all. Yes. <laughs> no risk. Because yeah. um, I know if there's a fire, they'll tell each other. Uh, you don't need a fire alarm. The fire alarm, because the fire alarms go off all the time. And they take no notice. It's when someone goes, hey, it's fire. Come on, get out, David. Let's move. Uh, is everyone out of the building? They will do that. That's when we've had fires before in HMOs. The tenants do look after each other, make sure others are right. The fire alarm is really an ornament. Because, as I say, they don't take any notice when the fire alarm goes. They should do, but uh, someone uh, sets something off, opens the door to get the smoke out, the smoke goes into the hallway and sets the fire alarm off. No, they don't. Yeah. Let's have a look around. Any sort of, okay, sure, we could look around upstairs.